Hi there, everyone. This is Mailman Zero playing Low G Man. We'll try to continue where we were. Um, so, we're at some kind of metal head guy. Um, this is a boss. And I have very little time to destroy this boss. And I need to get this to. scroll up for me. And I need to somehow avoid getting hit by these things, because as far as I know, nothing seems to destroy them. So that's awesome. I can just shoot them all day and they just keep coming. And uh, everything is killing me, so... Uh, Why is... Ah, I can't make these stupid things go away. I think that the, those turrets on the side... See, I only have one life left. Um, I think the turrets on the side uh, shoot bubbles, and the bubbles kill me. Uh, yeah, not, not working out too well here. Okay. This is, uh, not taking me anywhere. Well, this is gonna be a redo. I need to unfreeze that. Okay. So I got that. And I jumped right into it. I didn't even do anything that time. Alright, let's Oh, I'm sorry, can I get those turrets? What am I supposed to do then? If the levels just keep going, am I very good when I do this? I can't even tell. The levels don't stop though, I'll tell you that much. Maybe they stop if I do that too. Um, that's awesome. Oh man, I really thought I was going to have him that time. Alright, let's try this one more time. Without the fail this time, hopefully. See, for some reason I thought that if I got the turrets on the sides, that the bubbles would stop, but that's not what happened at all. Not even close. But I think the gun will just be done. I mean, oh man, I got started. Must have got some kind of elixir or something. Kept me alive. Hey, metalhead. Stop. Blow bubbles at me. Poison bubbles. Metalhead. Poison bubbles. I just want to kill this thing. And I want the bubbles to go away. Why does the bubble sometimes go down? Oh man. I was doing so good. Maybe. I'm not even sure if I'm killing him. To tell you the truth. Alright, one more try. How many times am I going to say one more try, right? Okay, so... Now I'm back where I was before. I just need to... Freeze him so he stops... Doing the bubbles. Oh, and the bubbles still got me. Come on, come on, frozen. Ah, yes! Yes! Okay, so the secret was to make sure I freeze him every time. Uh, now we're in the frozen part. Let's give it a shot. Man. Okay. So I'm not really sure that this is any more slippery. But uh I do know that I can jump higher now. I got some some jump high juice. Which you know the, the gimmick of this game is that you can jump really high. So one thing that I learned too is if you kill enemies without shooting them first, then their drop rate is much higher than if you freeze them first. So that's, uh, that's something to pay attention for. You know, if you're really good and you don't have to freeze them first, then, you know, you're, you're going to get a lot more stuff. Also, I learned that if you get a red elixir, or whatever you want to call it, the red elixir takes away life, and the blue elixir restores life. So that would be bad. I don't want to get the red elixirs. Well, 
Well, that was awesome. Let's try this without dying. I don't remember what a blue bell does, but I think it's just points. Um, the bells, I think, are points. The things that have wings on them, there's different kinds. Um, some of them, okay. So now I know that the stalactites hurt me. Um, but the, the things with wings, the blue wings, I believe, give me extra shots, up to three at a time, with this gun. And then I think the red ones, I could be wrong, but I think the red ones are supposed to get, this, this is like a ladder, but it doesn't do anything if I push up on it. I don't know if I want that vehicle or not. It looks like all of these are about to fall, okay? Oh, it's the next vehicle that I can, that I can commandeer. Oh, but I'm dead, so that's the end of that. And when you get a game over and continue, your firepower goes back down. So I'm just going to save another state and continue and see how it goes. Okay, so... We should see here that I now only have one shot. I don't have any special weapons. And I lost my... No, immediately I get a red elixir. And I lost my ability to jump as high as part of it. How many times do I have to hit this guy? I thought he was only a one-hit kill. Wait. Why did that take so many shots? And he's generating ice blocks. That's always cool. Did I also improve, like, my my strength? Maybe the strength of the spear goes up, too, when your weapon goes up. I don't know. Now I'm confused. Because all of these enemies? Okay. Oh, look at that. That blue elixir would have given me more life. That was awesome. Not the red elixir! It's really hard not to get some of these things. Can I get them from down here? It's like, oh, and the, the, the weapon, or the items, fall straight through the ground, so, you know, that doesn't help at all. You see how that enemy didn't leave anything? See, this guy, I gotta hit him tons. I don't know why I have to hit him so much. When I first started this level, I did. I, I don't, I mean, I, I don't remember having to hit things more than once. See, that, I believe, gives me extra shots with this, maybe? Yeah, see, rank two. Oh, but I don't know, because I got two of them already. So, I forgot what that one does. Not the red elixir! There's so much red elixir falling all of a sudden. Whoa. I did not mean to shoot that. For some reason, I, I didn't realize that it was selected. Okay, that's weird. Uh, so, try to avoid these, but I didn't. I did the opposite of avoiding them and failed. Why does these things take so much hit? So many hits now? I'm still really confused about that. Which is probably why I keep repeating it. I think taking the high road would be good if I didn't hit the top of the screen and bounce off like it's a trampoline. So, forget it. What I really want is to get that vehicle, because see, vehicles will keep you from taking damage, except for if that damage... Oh, see, the strength of the spear, I'll bet, is, is tied to one of these items that I'm getting that looks like wings. Oh, why did I think that only one hit would be enough for that? Yeah! Now see, I've got this VEF, that's Vehicle Fuel, which means it's basically a timer for how long I get to keep this. So, I won't get to keep it for too long, but, you know, it's pretty cool, as long as I do get to keep it. And if I get hit, then it's like I lose fuel, which is, you know, the same thing as losing life. 
If I get a red elixir while I'm in this vehicle, though, I will lose actual life, not just vehicle fuel. So see, I, I can see the vehicle fuel is almost out, so it's gonna go away, and now I'm out. It's like I don't wanna, I don't know if there are any pits in here, but I don't wanna fall into any. I'm guessing this is a, an enemy that I have to kill. Oh, and the water is like lava, apparently. So this enemy, its attack is to drop stalagmites, or stalactites on me. But it doesn't seem too dangerous, as long as I'm careful. I just keep kind of walking and hitting it. Uh, I'm not even sure I've gotten hit by one of those yet. So... See, that one looks like it would have hit me, but I think I destroyed it with the pipe. So... or the spear, I don't know. Oh, see, that hit me. See, so if I just keep doing this, I should be safe, right? I wonder how many times I gotta hit this thing. It's been... I don't know, a lot of hits. Oh. I gotta be careful. I think I'm one hit kill on the way. What am I doing? What? Am I like I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Like, like how many times do I have to hit this thing? Like how many times do I have to repeat myself before it dies? Because really, there's nothing to say here. I hit you again, and you flash, but don't give any indication that you're dying. Maybe I have to do this first. That was awesome. So the running jump doesn't do anything for me, apparently. If I jump after a run, it looks like it goes the same distance as always. So... Yeah, that, that was nothing. I want to... Try the... No? Okay. No momentum. Running gives you no momentum in this game. Which is probably why it's really... I mean, it's totally useless. It just lets you walk fast. Which honestly doesn't do anything for you except get you hit by things like that that you shouldn't even be getting hit by. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just failing miserably everywhere. Um, yeah. What I need to do is freeze this guy, and then commandeer the ship. Yeah! Don't do that. Okay. Awesome. So, you know, it doesn't last that long, but it keeps me from getting damaged. Except for when it doesn't. What the heck? Okay. I can make this happen. What is he doing? Why is he jumping so high? So... I'm back in here again. Come on! This time I don't even have like a power up for my freeze ray. And then I froze it in a place where I can't hit it, that's awesome. Frozen again. See, I think every time I do this, I'm getting a lot more hits in than when I just, you know, did a regular one. That was awesome. Wow. Oh. oh, no, not over there. Come on. Maybe it dies faster if I don't freeze it first? I can't tell. Yeah! I beat a mini-boss! Hooray! 